Welcome back. It may be the largest art project in the United States. The hundreds, if not thousands, of yield sign signs, sized signs sprang up like wildflowers in their heyday back in the mid-90s. The originals, they were bright yellow with black lettering, but sign artists soon branched out, hand-painting works of art and planting them in high-traffic areas where they could be seen for free. A few years ago, the benefactor, Stanley Marsh III, embroiled in allegations of sexual assault, died. He was under indictment on 14 charges, including sexual assault of a child, sexual performance by a child, and indecency with a child back in 2014. Those lawsuits were settled out of court, but many of his art projects continue on. Cadillac Ranch, of course, and the signs. It's the scavenger hunt which, borrowing a phrase from the very first Stanley Marsh 3 sign, has no end. But it does have a beginning, and it all started in the mid-90s. For Jacob Reedon, a sign was planted in his yard as a result of a happy accident. They dialed the wrong number, mm -hmm. but I started talking to them, and they told me what they were doing. And so I went and approached my parents and said, hey, these art pieces are going up. And about three weeks later, um, Stanley and the crew showed up. They let me pick through a couple of Polaroids. Mm -hmm. uh, we got one of the probably first hundred signs that went up around Amarillo. One of the people who may have planted that sign, Drew Mason. A member of the Dynamite Museum. Who says the goal of the signs was to share art with the common man. One of the problems with art is that it's not really available to the general public because the general public, you know, they go to work and they come home and they... They help their kids with homework and they make dinner and they eat dinner and go to bed and start the next day. And so it's, 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 a, it's a time luxury that just your average working class and middle class family doesn't have. Hundreds of marsh signs dot the landscape of the Yellow City and beyond. Rumor has it there are signs as far as San Antonio and Lubbock, even though the signs seem partial to our city. Uh, they're everywhere. So they're in trees. They're like uh, hidden out in the country. You know, they're in Canyon, they're in Adrian, so there's one in Lubbock. There is one in Lubbock? There is one in Lubbock. Where is yeah, it? Yep. I, I just heard, I think it's on L. For more than two decades, they've delighted and inspired Matthew Williams, an artist and early member of the Dynamite Museum. It was probably the largest public art project in the United States. He did a roughly, you know, three to 5,000 signs, each of them costing around thousand dollars a piece really when you get down to it and so back in the 90s he spent millions of dollars on this project and now Williams is an advocate for the signs repair and preservation I mean I have a group of volunteers that we go around and if you give us a fee that uh, will like restore your sign or remove it we've done some of that the sign savers not only want to preserve the legacy of the signs but the hundreds of artists who dreamed them up real legacy is the artists that worked on the project more than Stanley himself. If you look at those signs in the right way, it's a time capsule. You know, this is really reflective of what the creative scene in Amarillo was feeling at the time, particularly the sort of young, active, energized creative scene. But for now, the sign hunt continues. That's the whole thing, is to drive around and get as many as you can, like Pokemon. The first Pokemon, huh? Yeah, yeah the original. first Pokemon, yeah. <laughs> you gotta find them all. You gotta find them all. <laughs> And many of these signs, including some that you actually saw in that story, they're no longer standing. William says many of them were blown over by the wind. We fight that every day around here or ran over or cut down to spend the rest of their days living in living rooms. So we have a whole slideshow of Stanley Marsh three signs on our website, the majority of which I'll admit I took them. You can also share your photos of the signs with us on social media. Andy? Or when I see one, I would take the picture and send it to Jackie. Hey, I, I found one for you. All right, Jackie, thank you. Looking forward to heading over and watching that web extra.